baht for Kai, for you 100 baht. Mm. 20 baht for the Thais and 100 baht for me. Okay, fair enough. 120 is not bad. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, fix it now. Mm. Now it's 20 baht and I'm 100 baht. Now it'll have entrance fee. Oh, look at that. Smokers will be shot. <laughs> Okay, what do we got here? Rule when visiting monuments. Okay. Yeah, look at that. I just called into the tourist information that they've got here and uh, taken a copy of the plaques that are outside the structures. So I'll be able to read them out as I'm filming. Makes me look intelligent, I think. People won't even know that I'm reading off a tablet. <laughs> We'll have a look at this little building here. Uh, it's not a little building, but have a look at this thing first. Yeah, look at that. The main structure is pretty big, apparently. Nice stairs. Wait to climb up them. This building or construction, if you like, has one unique name and easy to pronounce. From architectural features and location, it is believed that this building was prepared for the king for his performance of religious ceremonies. It was also used by his entourage to prepare offerings and their ceremonial items. This building was constructed in the 12th century AD, which would make it around about 800 years old. Yeah, apparently it was a pile of rubble when they um, found it, or started reconstructing it. Just a ma oh look at the look at the work on the doors there the the um I don't know what they call them look at that isn't that amazing mm. stonework mm. really integrated too eight hundred years old that amazing just gets me how some of the stones are so straight how they how, how did they cut them in them days. Amazing. Apparently this place was built before Angkor Wat in Cambodia. Yeah, the seventh wonder of the world. And Angkor Wat was based on this design. I was reading that before, I don't know whether it's true or not. I it is. We're just approaching the Naga Bridge, which is the entrance to the main structure. The artistic style is the Angkor Wat period of the 12th century. ADA statues of a lion adorns the area at the foot of the stairs. The Naga Bridge is meant to link the human and heavenly realms. In accordance with Buddha and Hindu, Cosmology. I don't even know what that means, cosmology. I'm gonna have to look that up. Gee, these things are amazing, they really are. When you, when you get inside them and uh, look around, they're awesome. Yeah, look at that work in there. You can certainly tell us Khmer. Get a load of the work on the doors. Unbelievable. Door, doorway entrances. Very nice. Very 
very well done. Yeah, wonderful work. It just really amazes me how they um, can cut that stone so straight like that. I don't know how they did it. I'll have to look that up somehow. It's amazing. I don't know, and I don't know what those little holes are everywhere. So you see them in the stone, the little holes. Check this out. Beautiful. Very nice indeed. Beyond the arch gateways is a courtyard with a path leading to the central door in the surrounding wall. This courtyard is rectangular and surrounded by a path. Post holes were found at intervals along the pathway during the reconstructions. Uh, post holes, huh? That means it had some sort of a railing along it, I guess. I don't know. Have a look at that for a view. Where's your camera? Get some wonderful shots here actually when you, if you bring a really good camera. Those sort of memories that'll last you a lifetime. Look at the stonework. The arched garways and galleries. This building's supposed to be. The gallery is a long rectangular building. Surrounded by an inner courtyard of the sanctuary. The inner walls have true windows, while the outer have false windows, adorned with stone balustrates. Important evidence of the Pimai sanctuary has been found at the southern entrance of the inner gallery in the form of inscription on a statue. That one doesn't look like it's in too good a condition. Seen better days. Got a lot of work to do to restore that one. And this is the main building here. Look at the stonework of the figurines on top of this main building here. Amazing, very good. Now this building is called the main prung. The main prung is made of white sandstone. And the Mondop is located at the front of the tower. Hello! This prung is decorated with relics of a dancing Shiva, Ramayana and Buddhist figures. And this structure was built in the 11th century AD. Yeah, it's a nice temple. Ah, uh, city, sorry, it's not a temple. Oh, historical park, they call it. Mixed up again. Oh, it is hot, I tell you. Very hard work. The heat. You've got to work a camera and uh, watch where you're walking. Oh, very nice. Really nice.
Orang Brahmatut is made of laterite and stands on a square base with cut corners. Entrance doors can be found on all four sides. A statue of someone believed to be King Java Man was found inside and is now on display at the Pimai National Museum. That's what the plaque says at the front of the structure. Tell you what, if that's the original statue, it's in very good condition. But it says they uh, took the original way to some museum somewhere. But it uh, looks very, uh, really good condition. Get the light on it, nice and green colour it is. Good. Is Mal taking some selfies? She's a professional selfie <laughs> This is the main tower, Prasat P. Mai. Very nice. They've restored it fairly well, this main tower. Beautiful green lawns. Very nice. Looks good. They've uh, maintained the place quite well. Hmm. There's the one I was just in. There's Mel making adjustments to her selfies. Can't have enough selfies, I always say. Check out the lawns, fantastic they are, really nice. Yes, must have been amazing in its days, I think. I live in Bangkok, and you don't see much grass in Bangkok, only in the parks. But uh, this has been maintained very well, and it's always a pleasure to see. With an ancient city mixed in with it, it looks really nice. Beautiful, look at it. Very good. I'd stay and sit for for a while, but it's just too hot inside here. It just gets hot, I tell you. Go around here. We'll start heading out now. Oh, look at that. A European native pigeon. They just come in to sh uh, leave droppings all over everything. Yeah. Imported all the way from Europe. They're the rats of the sky, pigeons. They just leave droppings all over everything. Hey, you've got to watch your footstep around here. If you're not watching what you're doing, you can twist your ankle quite easy. I've done it twice since I've been here today. But then again, I stare at a camera. So make sure you've got appropriate footwear when you come to P. My Historical Park. Well, you'll twist your ankle. And that's not nice, believe me. Okay. There's the courtyard. Really does look good. A wonderful view from up here. Really good stuff. Would have been sensational when all those moats were full of water. Really good. I'll just walk along the side there, Mal. Don't try and go down them stairs. Now, this would have been amazing to look at all those years ago. I think it would have been mind-boggling. Mal leading the way. She's an explorer. Oh, look, she's brought a scarf to keep the sun off her head. Ties, they don't like getting out in the sun, getting a suntan. Anyway. These things here are, they're ponds. They fill them full of water. I don't know why they haven't got water in them now. They usually do at the other temples. Isn't it amazing? Look at that for a view. How would you be seeing this all those years ago? Look at it, amazing. Yeah, what would it have looked like? All the decorations around, gold fittings and roofs on everything. Yeah, very nice. Tidy club. There goes the leader, Mal. Yeah. Very nice. Well worth the visit here. Look at all this. Beautiful view.
Oh, I'll tell you what, it's, it's hot. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's a very nice temple. Got a lot of work to do to it though. As you can see from the movie. It's, uh, it's quite nice, actually. It's worth the trip out, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the little movie. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Alright, catch you next time. Bye-bye.